Today we're going to talk about roading and the benefits of roading. Got old Deuce here and he likes to road. The main benefit of roading has to do with getting your dog conditioned, whether it's for field trialing, hunting, hunt tests, or just general overall conditions. It really doesn't matter. You can rode a couple of different ways. You rode off horseback, takes a horse. You rode off of an ATV like I am right now. I like roading off an ATV. It's, it's pretty convenient and I can get a lot done. A couple of ways to road. There's a traditional way of roading where the dog is always pulling against the harness so you're not going very fast. You're just letting the dog do the work, build up their muscles and basically get them in overall condition. The other way is what I call free roading, and that has to do with where you go the same pace that the dog's running. So they have no pressure, no pulling of the harness on them at all. It's pretty much nice and loose. We're gonna get Deuce here and get him going and, and get him in condition. All right, let's go road some dogs. Ready, Deuce? Pros typically rode with six, eight, maybe even 10 dogs at a go. And to get all the dogs to run at the same pace is almost impossible for them. So they typically do the traditional roading. What I call free roading, where you go the same pace that the dogs run. So they have no pressure, no pulling of the harness on them at all. It's pretty much nice and loose. Well, that was a good roading for Deuce there. We did about 45, 50 minutes. My suggestion would be start them out slow uh, when you first start roading your dog and uh, build up to uh, a good time. Uh, so you need to be safe. My roading rig always is on curbside. So if a car passes, I don't have to worry about the dog at all. Road at the, the cooler times of the day, whether it's early in the morning or late in the evening during the summertime, you want to make sure that your dog doesn't get overheated. I always take water with me. You can stop every once in a while and give them some water, wet them down. Other than that, it's probably the best thing you can do for your dog uh, right before uh, field trial season and uh, certainly before hunting. You'll get a, a full day out of them. Uh, they'll be happier and you'll be happier as well. All right, Deuce, you ready to go? All right, bud. All right, let's go. 